Hello everyone and welcome to part 15. Now before we start I wanted to show you this. Uh, when you play one any of my videos, you can come here to the setting and set the speed to be double the speed and enable the subtitles. So this way you watch a full video in half its duration. And this is cool. And specifically with my videos, I realized that my voice is clear even at double speed. So, let's move on. In the game, in the project, I went ahead and loaded some new tiles. I'll show you them. But we are going to improve our project right now. So if I come to Object Candy in the step event. Now, in our step event we are doing it like this when we meet an object we stop if if this is the last candy we uh, disable the busy variable then uh, we run the matching script inside every candy what I will do is I will remove this from here instead I'll put this in object brain, add a new alarm and say with object candy script find match. And what this does is it runs this script inside every object candy. Now the problem with this is when you come back to the step event, if I place this here, let, let's trigger that alarm. So I can easily just copy this paste it here and set this to be the second alarm. The problem with this is that this alarm would be triggered within every single candy. And this is bad. We don't want this to happen. So conveniently we can very easily say that if this is the last candy, then trigger this alarm. Which is fantastic because this alarm would be triggered only once, which is what we want. And it would be triggered only at the end of each operation. And this is amazing actually. Then I want to put an offset between this alarm and this alarm. And it's very easy. We can easily come to the alarm that sets busy to be false and mu multiply it by 2. So set delay times 2, which is 10 frames. And you see, we have this alarm here too. Let's multiply it by two. So it would be the same everywhere. Now you see what we did is we will not be checking immediately for matching candies. Instead, we will match candies only when the board is stable, when all candies are in their places. Then, we have this stabling method and it's not very, very efficient, nor it's great, but there is a way to make it better. And that is by saying object candy dot stable equal false. What does this mean? Well, when you run a game and candy starts falling, then you destroy a candy and other candies start falling. When a candy falls, it means that the player cannot do anything and every other candy should not be stable because this candy is not stable. And this makes the game much, much better. And we will not have problems where we get empty spaces or I don't know what else and it fixes lots of problems good now after that I think that's it in the step event after that there is one thing that I really want to do and it's when we uh, let me run the game When we are on, when we are matching candies, I really want to uh, ping the matched 
candies. It's really important. And what I want to say is when this candy is swapped with this candy, and the red candy finds these two candies, I want the candy to ping them as matched. So no other candy can match itself with this candy. It's like saying this candy is mine, so no other candy can touch this candy. And this can be achieved easily. All you want to do is come to the create event and say match equals false. This is a new variable that we are going to use and uh, by default it's false because obviously it hasn't, it hasn't been matched yet but we want to enable this where in script find match so if we come to the script and if you look at this script you'll see that I've changed all the variables to be more uh, readable so when you see top one you read it as top one and not uh, t1 and this is just to make things easier for you to read I was just fine with t1 and l1 and b1 and whatever was here but for you guys I changed everything to be more understandable and just because this is a tutorial and I want you guys to understand everything that is written here. Now before everything, before running this script, we want to say if matched then exit. And this is very obvious, so if this candy is matched already, we do not want to run this script obviously, because this candy now belongs to another candy. Alright, then if not match, if this candy is the swapped candy and now it's trying to match with other candies. All we want to do is come to the logic and here first we set matched to be true to this candy that is checking for matching candies because now here it already found the matching candies. So only here we say matched equals true then we take these four candies that have matched already and set their matched variable to be true and that this can be achieved easily because we already have this top one object we just copy it here we say top one object dot matched equals true same goes for the second object third object and fourth object fourth object and this is for this condition in every single condition you want to do the same so in, in this condition where we check for the right and left wing this is five uh, straight matches you want to say matched equals true and uh, enable the matched variable inside every candy that we are matching with and this goes for every single condition I went ahead and did this just to make this video shorter great now if we come to to object brain here we have uh, this uh, bar that I've created and I actually want to change this because I've already created a new graphics for this uh, game so I will just go and load the new background that I created which is this and what I'll do here is very good. You see, I I've been changing lots of things through my tutorials and this is very good. Why? Because it shows you how dynamic the game can be. Whenever we change something, you learn what these variables were used for and when we change these variables, you understand uh, the use of them. All right. so. What I want to do is, now that I've loaded the background, I want to load the new bar that I created. And this is the new bar. It's actually the same, the concept is the same, everything is the same. Uh, the origin is mid left, and oh my god, the size is 20 pixels, not 6 pixels, as we had previously but the bar itself is 300 pixels 
Now, if we come and calculate and see, let's get rid of this and come to the create event. If you remember, we had in the previous bar, we could put or place 48 middle part from the bar. But in this one, the bar is 300 pixels. And the width of each piece here is 20 pixels now. Previously it was 6 pixels. So if we divide 300 by 20 pixels, it will give us how much guys? 15. So we have 15 empty places, empty slots. Now, since the bar has a starting and ending point, it means 15 minus 2, 13. So we have only 13 empty places. So instead of 48, we say 13. That's it. That's all we, we need to do. But in this background, our Y position is, uh, is not this. Uh, we cannot put a random Y position. It has to be exactly where we should put this. And the position should be here. Actually, the position is 40, but I want to move it one pixel and I will show you why. So let's say 40, 41. Everything remains as it was. We don't change anything. You see how dynamic this is. The only thing we had to do is put the new Y position and how many slots we needed. Everything would work just fine. If we come to the uh, draw event, now we want to draw the bar, the new bar. All right. The bar is the same. This everything remains the same. All we need to do is change this six to what to the width of the bar the width is 20 pixels so just we, all we need to is just to put some 20s here and this glow part let me just i'll take this glowing part put it here and make it a comment we don't need it right now so what we will have is only the bar itself and as you see all I did is I changed the width of the bar that's it nothing else everything remains the same now additionally I want to draw the moves and for that we need a font we'll leave it for later now let's focus on the bar itself so if I run the game as you see we are drawing the bar the problem is I'm drawing the bar the previous bar and this we don't need anymore so we can delete it already and we, do, we don't need to draw it here so this part we don't need anymore so this is the game right now and if I destroy candies you see the bar is working just fine when we destroy candies when we get anything everything is working just fine the bar starts moving and everything is just fine now i think this is enough for now uh, there is, we have a lot to do in this game so stay tuned and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video